to my channel and today we will be cooking the big bad Jamaican favorite stew peas. Everybody favorite. Wherever you're in the world and you're Jamaican, we know you have find a restaurant but get stew peas today. Come over here so we show you the ingredients. So chicken foot, big bad chicken foot, baby feet, picnic feet, whatever you want to call it, it have to go in there. Red peas, kidney bean, whatever you want to call it, I it make it part red. And of course, the boss, pig tail. Me just feel like say, if you don't eat pork, you have to just stay away from stew peas because at least make it nice. And my season of choice, of course, thyme, fork, garlic cloves, big, bad scotchy, scotch bonnet pepper, you see me? And of course, my freshly cut scallion from my garden. We know say pata go nice. If pata go sweet, I'm sorry, so we can't get no. <laughs> What's going on? So I am back, and the pot is smelling oh so good, oh so delicious. You guys, you are going to love this recipe. You have never tried this recipe. I'm telling you, try this recipe, comment and tell me how it turned out. Was it fantastic the first time doing it? And those who have cooked the dish over and over and over again, you know that you cannot fail with stew peas. Every Jamaican loves stew peas. Every Jamaican. Whether you don't eat pork and you are going to cook beef and chicken, food, or you are going to do it with salt, fish, or whatever you are going to do it with. My preference are with the pigtail, whole heap of pigtail. So come and show you what may go Hi guys, so just a quick little update on my stew peas and my ingredients. As you can see, I have two grease coconut powder sachet. Normally I would use one, but today I want that thick and strong coconut taste in my stew peas my chicken foot is ready just the way i like it my pig steel is so tender and nice not salty just the way i like it also as you can see i have my dough my flour and you know when i say flour you know of these spinners stew peas can i see the spinners and you already know my seasoning already i explained what i have i added some pimentos to it or you can see all spice i will be crushing a few not all so let's go over and look on the stove to see the goodness that is bubbling and boiling so my stew peas is almost ready as you can see the peas is all pressured and it is looking so lovely and thick in just a few minutes i will add all my ingredients to the pot so before we do so look at my rice you see all that butter a butter butter of in the nof nof so let's just go back and just in case you miss my ingredients let's go over and have another quick look so my flour from my dumplings and my pigtail my chicken foot and my seasoning of course so what's up next let's see what's up next and it is time for us to add our seasoning shortly and our spinners and oh my god I can't wait for this pot to be finished I am so hungry so in go my scotch bonnet pepper followed behind the rest of my seasoning but just let me beat my scallions and my garlic some people you know you can just cut it and throw it in the pot but i like to beat it so you can beat it with a knife you can use a mortar whatever you have to beat it or whatever is your preference is your cooking you know what you like you know what your families and friends like so cooking is also pleasing to the soul to just let your loved ones enjoy cooking and enjoy your meal as well so all my seasons are there and i'm just giving that a quick stir guys i wish you could smell the aroma oh my god 
that part looks good and it smells so so good now i'm going to add my coconut milk powder in the pot although i wish i add coconut but the powder will do just fine it will do just fine because i'm going to ensure that i add sufficient amount to the pot however you will see later on in the video that i changed my mind and i did not add both sachet i added one and about one and a half so with the remaining milk powder that's left behind you can put it in a ziploc bag and put it in your refrigerator put it in your kitchen counter whatever you want to do with it it will still be good when you're ready for it so in goes my next sachet which i will be using only about half of the amount so i can't wait for this meal to be over so let's just quickly crush some of those pimento seed all spice and into the pot they go guys i really wish you could smell this but for the time being you can taste it you can smell it so what about cooking your own stew peas and just comment below and tell me was your first try good was it delicious did you spoil it <laughs> and for those who have cooked stew peas over and over again just just tell me if your stew peas is nice. And right now I'm going to add my spinners and you see the size that you want. We're just making some small bite-sized swirly dumplings. Because stew peas is not right without spinners. It's just not right without spinners. Like you can't go in one car and drive a car without the wheel them. So I say you can cook his stew peas without the spinners. Spinners need love. Come on. I vote for spinners to get love. But in the meantime, if you are still here with me, guys, just go ahead and just click that subscribe button up top. And please like and share my video to somebody, a family, a friend that you know that this video might help sharing is caring and that's what i'm here to do i'm here to share what i know with you guys and also learn what i can from you guys because a lot of the recipes that i'll be cooking on my channel will be from inspiration so guys it has come to that adding the big boss the pig tail in the pot yeah so we do it add your chicken foot and just give that a stir I'm gonna take out the scotch pan if you're trying to put a book one cook in there guys do you see that are you seeing this? See the spinners then the lot of nice spinners escape. So still piece of full of meat. Real Jamaican style. Guys, just look at this. Look at this lovely delicious meat. Is there more drooling as yet? So let's eat. So today my juice of choice is orange juice, and you already know this is my stew peas, and I am loving every bit of it. Yes. Mm. 
rice is just perfect. It's not soft. Just the way I like it. Sherry. Mm. The potato is perfect. Guys, I know your mouth's already drooling. Please remember to hit this subscription button, like and share my video. Guys, Are you cooking today? Mm. Mm. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this. Trust me. Mm. I swear this is food porn right now. Mm. Everything is just perfect, guys. The chicken food is pressured just enough. The big tail. Not too salty, as I said, the spinners on oh the Here it up with them, shelly, white rice. I'm not commenting yet, but it's a shelly rice, so it's a rice firm in a saggy. And there's the tomato to the starnish and the green onions. It's perfect. Perfect, guys. You can't really eat two pizza, please. Two pizza. Guys, perfect. But as I said, remember to just hit this subscription button up here. Guys, thank you for staying with me today while I put this fantastic, fantastic meal. I'll put all the ingredients that I used in the description bar below. So, do remember to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, love is.